Hi guys, welcome to Otto's Garage. Okay, so uh, rear calipers, what I've done with those is I want to incorporate uh, some hydraulic assistance onto the handbrake, but we are going to still be using the uh, cable system. So I've, I've maintained the original caliper and what we're going to do is we're going to give them a refurb. So we have had them off the car and we've stripped them down. So what we've got here are, this is the pair, the left and the left and the right calipers but um, in order to get the piston out which actually is in very good condition I was expecting that to be a little um, scored that's actually not bad at all but what, to get them out you've actually got to split the alloy piston body uh, the cylinder away from the uh, mounting caliper itself uh, and if you just can see here we've got a situation where Basically, the alloy seizes, it corrodes and it seizes into the steel um, caliper brake mounting there. So I've got to pull that apart. There's a little hole in the side of them down here. And what that basically does is that stops the whole thing from falling apart. But it's a real bit of Mickey Mouse engineering, I think. So what we're going to end up probably doing is we'll probably end up drilling that out and putting a uh, little grub screw in there. And thanks to the guys off the uh, Lantia um, Owners Club, uh, Matt Tambini sent me some very useful information on that, so thanks Matt for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a go at pulling those apart, and then when they're all apart, we're gonna get those powder coated, and we'll get those um, rebuilt with some new seal kits in there. So uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, the other thing that I'm quite sure you're going to want to have a bit closer look at is the rear suspension and the diff cradle that uh, has arrived. Uh, Walkers have done the cradle from up in York, a uh, nice bit of engineering on that. It does give you a bit of extra space so when you're putting the exhaust on, you've got a little bit more room to play with on that. But of course, uh, not only that, I couldn't put the original housing on after I'd spent all the time making those uh, lovely rose jointed suspension arms. So there's the diff cradle um, and you can see on this side just up here there's there's quite a decent area for getting the exhaust through to that. Um, diff cradle from walkers. The, the, the red brace that we've got which runs across and that goes up to the mounting for the anti rear anti-roll bar. So there's an extra bit of bracing on there. Uh, that's an OMP item. Um, and then of course you've got the two suspension arms that I've made up there. Uh, original powder coated silver hob carrier and that's all got new bearings in it and ready to rock and then we've got the um, BC coilover coming down from that. Uh, now just bear in mind that because I'm doing this for hill climb I've got free regulation on there so I think there's been some comments somewhere about it. if it was a group A car I don't know whether that would comply with Group A rally regs, so, but not to worry on in this instance, we're not rallying it, we're hill climbing it. Uh, and then the other thing that I've got is some uh, Tarax, sorry, Tarax um, spec discs on the back there. I've just gone with standard size on that, we've got standard caliper. Um, the car is so light anyway, you know, we, we don't want to be super over braked. But of course we have got a adjustable bias as well on the brakes going into it. And then just some... Uh, hub spacers on the back there uh, so yeah very pleased with how that is all looking I needed to get all of that done so that we could work out our wheels spacing basically um, what the offset was going to be in relation to the arch above it so I think that's all been done now and um, the only other thing that you can't quite see I'm going to come around we've got the uh, the trailing arm there which comes across as well and that's all got poly bush in it so um, yeah, looking good. So thanks for the great um, feedback comments I've had on that. A lot of interest in that and uh, it is looking how I was hoping it was going to look. Obviously once we've got a bit of paint under there on the main body, that should make it look even nicer. So watch this space and we will be progressing. Okay guys, uh, just a quick update this week. I just wanted to let you know what was going on there. Um, and basically we're trying to get on with this as much as we can. I am 
bit of a hold up at the moment because I'm still waiting for this roll cage to arrive. But when that does arrive, should be able to get cracking with that. I'll show you an extra feature for that uh, so on the installation. And then hopefully uh, when that's out of the way, we can get some paint on it and start uh, making some good assembly progress. I can't wait to get it out there and show you, but we are a couple of months off that yet. So uh, stay safe and um, thanks for watching Otto's Garage. Bye bye!